go. Go, go! Oh my god! Look at this, beautiful. I love it. Hello. Hi. This is Kerry. And this is Kat. And, and we, we are, are tea in Valhalla. Valhalla. You join us today in exquisite Exmoor National Park. Um, we've started our walk from County Gate today and we're going to do a big circular walk, take you down towards uh, Waters Meet, the coast, through some ancient woodlands. Might do a little bit of uh, wild swimming. Yes, quite possibly. Have a little dip in the, uh, the rivers down there as well. So from the County Gate car park, which is totally free, we're going to go um, along the ridge, which we're walking along now, go down into the gorge and actually follow Glyn uh, River where it meets up with the Hoare Oak uh, water at Waters Meet and then follow that round and then we'll go along the southwest coast pass for a little bit. Pack the bags full of sunblock, water, so much sunblock. all sorts of stuff. A leisurely stroll again, we're just going to take our time, yeah. soak up some nature. And hopefully have a little swim, have a little dip. Yeah, maybe have a little dip along the way too. Nice. Absolutely fantastic. fantastic. So this area with the woodland that you can see behind me, down at the bottom of the gorge, um, is actually one of the largest expanses of ancient oak woodland in the whole of the southwest. And it really is stunning. It's a hell of a badge to hold in Exmoor. Beautiful Exmoor National Park. Really special place. It's also a very rare uh, plant here called the Irish Spurge. So I'm going to keep my eyes open for that because actually spurges, well wood spurges, um, are out now have a little pick around although it's extremely rare so might have to push Kerry in a few bushes to have a look. Thanks. <laughs> it's lovely you're accompanied by the sound of the river down in the valley which we will be taking you to shortly as well. It's really nice everything coming out now all the bracken and all the shoots vibrant and green it's lovely. seems a little bit late and uh, these bluebells are a a dead cert sign of that not that I'm complaining because I absolutely love bluebells they might be one of my favorite uh, wild flowers actually yeah, it's so strange to see them out at you know the start of June it's good to see them even better to smell them so yeah, we're just following this path down around eventually this will bring us out down at the East Lynn Lovely, really nice. Bird song, sound of water in the background. I'll do. red deer over in the field there. Exmoor is famed for its red deer. Lots of different um, wildlife, birds, reptiles, Special flora. also the flora. Exmoor also, ponies. <laughs> yeah, the ponies, absolutely. I'm coming up there, Beautiful ash tree in full bloom. So cool. Obviously in Wiltshire, unfortunately, a lot of our ash trees have died back. So to see one in full bloom, oh, it's really nice. And all the hawthorn, the blackthorn out as well. Obviously it does nothing for hay fever sufferers. <laughs> Just, it's absolutely beautiful. What an ideal time of year to come. Just fit in, didn't you? Oh. 
It's all them sandwiches. Great bean gal. <laughs> is that, what is that? Is that an emu? Oh, wow. Look at you. What a beauty. Hey, mate. Okay. You okay? And you lovely. We weren't expecting to see you today. Oh my God, their hedge is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. They've mixed in normal beach with copper beach and it looks so cool. So to carry I want that now. We just picked up a bit of road walking where we've dropped down out of the fields. Linton, Lynmouth. Mine. No, where's mine? Cat's poo stick has gone missing it's in action. It's literally poo. It's not even come out. Here it is. Now listen, it's all about taking part. It's not the winning that counts, okay? Unless I win, and then it's all about the winning and not about the taking part. That's just useless. Very nice indeed. Maybe nice enough to swim in. Sugar me. Sugar, oh. sugar, sugar, sugar. sugar. Oh, I'm just gonna have to go in a minute or else I'm gonna get uh, scared and that. Then you get. <laughs> that is cold though, isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna die! <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! So cold! Oh. Holy moly! Oh, you've got to be careful, there's some big boulders poking out. Oh, unlike my big boulders that I've now tucked in. <laughs> <laughs> so odds are we have a little splash around here for a bit, a couple of lengths and just uh, a cat wants a sandwich and a cup of tea. So I might just have a little dip a bit longer. We'll bring you back in, in, in a second. Really refreshing. Once you get yourself under, the best thing to do is not dawdle. Get in, get under, submerge yourself and then you're away. So we're just having a quick cup of tea to yep. warm ourselves up after being in there because it was really cold. Yeah, stayed in for a little bit. Uh, uh, have a little sort of uh, paddle Play about. about. It's quite deep. There's a few places where you can have a couple of lengths go. You actually get salmon through this this part of uh, yeah. Berlin. So sort of October, November, sort of autumn time, they use this as their pilgrimage up um, yep. to a spawning site. So you'll see the salmon doing their run up here. And if um, there's been lower than average rainfall, you'll see them doing their jumping. Oh, very cool. They jump up here. It's a really special river. Yeah. And then their sprats will live out their life here until they become adults, obviously, and then do the pilgrimage and all over again. Do the salmon run. And we were saying, actually, how I know it was really cold in there. But it is very invigorating, isn't it? And they've Super been, um, invigorating. And it's linked, actually, isn't it? Linked to well-being and, and mental yeah, health. Been, yeah, there have been a few studies lately saying mm. that obviously being in cold water, especially while swimming and stuff, might be uh, extremely good for your mental health. Yeah. We're going to have a cup of tea, yeah. a bit of chocolate, have a ham and cheese sandwich, 
and then we'll take you back to the walk. Go on. So we've just rejoined the path, come up from the river, the East Lynn, keeping that on our left as we head down towards Watersmeet now, a particular section we're walking through. Bilberry bushes everywhere. Not quite um, teeming with bilberries yet, but uh, there'll soon be a good supply of food for the birds. Yes. And also for the uh, peckish rambler. <laughs> oh, look at this garden. Oh my God. Oh, somebody, somebody is lording it up. They've got their own waterfall. Oh, I can't even believe it. What an incredible home to have. They've really, I mean, it must be difficult because their garden is directly down. Um, very steeply onto the water but they've made these beautiful terraces and nice little rockery areas and lovely little bridge here ah water to meet and glenthorpe fisheries there's a little bit about the, the cycle of life that we talked about the salmon earlier oh, as well look yes. oh so yeah november to december actually I thought it was slightly i thought it was october to november so that's told me something Little fry. So they would be fry right now, this time of year. Cute. This tells us where we are. We are here. And at the moment we're walking right alongside the Lynn and we'll be going up to Waters Meet. Then obviously we're going to go off and we'll be walking along the southwest coast path. That's lovely. That's really nice. Really nice. These little pools, little holes, probably caused by where you get all these little pools of rocks and pebbles, and they just rotate and rinse around. This. Huge one there, absolutely massive. So this is named Ash Paul. Wow, wow. Oh. Holy moly. That is so deep. Got to be at least 12 foot deep central. It is lovely, you go up and down undulating tracks, some points it takes you away from the river, up onto higher grounds, but you're always, you're always within earshot, you can always hear it running alongside you. And other points like this, it opens up and you're, you're all but paddling through it. Just following Juvenile Heron down at the moment, he's just trying to get his breakfast. I'm wondering if, because there's some glades over there, I wonder if my Irish spurge I want to see is in the glades. Yeah. Why is that? Why would it be over there? Because it needs uh, quite a fair bit of sun. Okay. Or nearly all spurges. So where you've got that area of sort of cleared canopy there, yeah. you get that clearance on the ground and it, it increases the chances of certain... Especially spurges, but yeah. lots of, lots of uh, 
wildflowers and things. Because their seed bank is always there, but as the, obviously as the canopy closes over, you get less chance of them actually coming up and reproducing, so. Nice. Once you open it up, you get more in it. And that's what certain volunteer groups will do as well. Weekend workers or, you know, uh, Woodland Trust, Butcher Wildlife, maybe groups local to yourselves. They'll have volunteers that will come in and help clear down things that used to be worked in the past that aren't, aren't, it, yeah. aren't so much anymore. Your hazels and stuff. So they'll just be managed and looked after, coppice back to give other things a chance of coming through. Just come around the corner and seen a heron sat on the rock on the left hand side of the water. Keris is going to try and get a nice uh, clip for us. Coming into Waters Meet now, in the back of the building, just walking around the other side. It's a very popular spot, <laughs> very popular. It's National Trust now. But uh, it's closed, actually, it could be closed. Closed currently, I think, oh. yeah. But originally, this was actually a, a fishing lodge, fishing and hunting lodge, built in the uh, 1830s. And actually, although the National Trust didn't take it over and start serving food and drink and giving information until 1990 something, it was actually a tea room from about 1901. Look! I painted it rather pretty. So yeah, beautiful. Got original cobbles still. And it's a perfect spot. So obviously Waters Meet is where the river we've been following this whole time, the East, East Lynn, meets the Hoar Oak water. So, uh, and obviously they go out together off to the sea. Very nice. At Lynmouth. Follow that for most of the way and then we'll go up over onto the cliffs. Yep. And then we'll be walking there Southwest Coast Park. Excellent. There's some bridges and things which we'll show you next as well. Yeah. It's a very picturesque, pretty little area. It's really nice. Very, very cool. It's been a landslip, so the cafe itself can't get supplies in. That's why oh, it's not no. open. Yeah. They should have told us because I'm teeming with supplies. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Don't tell anyone. Oh no, we can't go down there. So we can't actually go down that way. So landslip issues means that we need to actually cross over the water and walk on the other side of the, of the uh, river itself. Yep. So here we go. This is us doing that. To do that, you also have to cross Poor Oak water. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Fab. I was talking about that we need to cross back over. Hopefully there's no signs up. Oh, I think it's open. Oh, thank goodness, it is open. I was thinking, oh no, I made no plan B. the area that was completely cordoned off the landslip was just up there somewhere it says Limoth is one and three quarter miles I'm officially starting my pedometer now never known someone so livid 
as Kerry when it comes to signs when they lie to him. Lots of benches and things along the way. Oh my God! Oh my God, Spurge! Well, I can't believe it. So right at the side of the path, after all my searching in woodland bits, and up or down little lumps, it's right at the side of the path. Irish Spurge, extremely rare. So that's another tick off for me in my brain. Oh, I'm well pleased with that. Spurges are um, toxic and their sap, if it's on your skin, can actually burn your skin. But still, great to see another one. Another one bites does. Yeah. I'm well pleased with that. Ridiculous. I was in and out of all sorts of uh, little crevices a minute ago trying to find it. It's an indicator species of an ancient woodland. So usually it's in sort of little glades and things, little groves um, within old woodlands. So that's where I was looking for it the whole Good work. time. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. I couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. Right as this is always the way. I'm forever surveying for things that I'll go right off the beaten path and almost kill myself trying to find. And I'll get back to the car and it'll be in the car park. So the sound of the river's just um, starting to sort of quieten off now as we're heading up and away from Waters Meet towards Lynmouth. I think the East Lynn is still down in the valley, just a little bit further away from us as we come up this uh, incline. One of the biggest areas in the southwest for ancient oak woodlands. 400 different species can be sustained by one oak. That's phenomenal, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We're going to take a path up here to our right towards Countersbury. Um, so that will lead us back onto the coast path. We're still going to end up on the coast path. Okay. We're taking the path less trodden. Yeah. It's a lot of uphill though. Yeah, it does mean a bit more work for the legs. So quite possibly another tea stop soon. Yeah, better do, Kerry. <laughs> better do. Another nice little sign. and a bit of a pond. Ideal place to have a cup of tea. Oh wow, look at the tadpoles. So all these tadpoles, as massive as they are, they are all frogs. You can tell the difference because um, toads, their tadpoles always just stay entirely black. Whereas frog tadpoles actually have the specks of, you see the specks of sort of a, a browny white. They're under your feet, look. Oh, I just can't believe it. Why is there so many? I love it. Well, we better hop to it. Hey! Oh, we'll croak. <laughs> Exmoor Bunkhouse. If you'd like to stay, phone the number below. Lovely bit of accommodation. We're exploring the area. Just following this bit of main road up now, um, but we should veer off soon. Quick, oh, is this another uh, cottage over here as well? So we've just turned left at the Blue Ball Inn, appropriate after this morning's uh, dip. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just following this little bit of track up and around, and then hopefully we pick up the coast path. We know. Linton and Nimba, the mouth of the River Lynn.
another little incline as you can see we're now on the coast path hopefully heading up towards a trig which should be a bonus has no name as far as i can tell so this is um now ours see you in valhalla hill okay Exmoor. I think that is how actually legal things work, isn't it, Kerry? Claiming of things, yeah. I hope Gonna works. have a cup of tea, pour a little bit for uh, claimage rights. Yeah. And it's ours. Claimage rights, they call Thank it. Thank you very much. For the Cheers. next 100 years, I think it's ours. So eventually this sea goes out into the Bristol Channel. And over there, which you may just be able to make out, is Wales. It's a great big herd of ponies. Seahorses. Um, but we're just going to pop the stove out. Yeah. Uh, top up the teas. Maybe have a Welsh cake. So guys, there will be no tea stop here because um, Brainiac of the Year 2021 has left the gas in the car. Absolutely ridiculous. So, sorry. He does this all the time. Is it either the tea bags or he forgets the milk. And now it's the gas. I'd like to point out this time I remember the tea bags, the milk, and the stove. But there's no gas. Why did you look in there? Did you forget <laughs> something else? I was just hoping. <laughs> if, I, if I hope hard enough, the gas will appear. So we'll have to wait till we get back to the car. This is hideous, Kerry. We've got miles to go and not a drop of tea. Sorry. <sighs> The large parts of this path so far have been sort of through um, farmland, following gates and the little acorn sign and rights of way. Yeah. So you keep the stone wall on your left as you're following this bit along. This is what I would consider a proper coast path, isn't it? Yeah. This is more like it. Obviously, sometimes you've got to go through the farm fields you do, and things. But when you think of it, this is what yeah, you think. Yeah, this, this is what you think. When you, when you think southwest coast yeah. path. Oh, it is glorious, isn't it? I love it. interesting the coast path um, then turns inland a small bit uh, back under these ancient oaks and it's so cooling absolutely lovely and we're about to pass over a little waterfall oh. <laughs> Nice, really nice, look at this. It feels funny to think that the sea is just there. And yet we're in this old forest. It's not often that happens in Britain.
just coming through the area of rhododendrons we were looking at a little while back and it's just buzzing all the bees doing their business collecting their pollen Nice little nook if you get caught out in uh, adverse weather conditions. Yeah. Little bit of a stone bench in there. Somewhere to park your bums, get some food down here, have a hot drink. If you've remembered your gas. Let's not talk about it, Kerry. Still drinking all our water. We had three litres each today in the packs. I bought an extra litre a piece as well, so we've both got four litres worth of water. So we just follow the coast path round. This is still technically the coast path, uh, but it goes inland now. So it's going to follow this for a little bit. It's like a proper car track, which I always find hurt my feet. I don't know how you guys uh, find them, but especially when I've got proper boots on, I find that anything a bit more hard standing, like tracks that are a bit more hard standing, really hurt my toes. Yes. So yes, we're just heading back to County Gate now, still working our way along the section of the path. Heading towards Sisters Fountain, which will be a little point of interest to show you when we get there. We're about 12 and a half miles into today's walk. Cat's just gonna um, phone through to yeah, 12.5, oh my god! 12.5 miles, look at that. Yeah. My internal pedometer <laughs> was doing its job. This is Sister's Fountain, and this sits on top of a fresh drinking water source. One last push up and we'll be back at County Gates. As the little sign indicates, quarter of a mile. Can't even remember what it said, just looked at it. <laughs> but um, it is all up from here. We're very nearly back at County Gates now. Is that what it's called? County Gate, yes. Yes, sorry, brains turning to scrambled eggs. It's been an absolutely fantastic day. Had a little bit of everything. I think it's going to be about 13 and a half miles in the end. Excellent. Um, yeah, so well worth a go if ever you get a chance and you're in the, the area. Yeah. Highly recommended. Hope you've enjoyed the video we put together for you. I'm trying to showcase some of the, the wonders of this route and the Southwest Coast Path. Yeah, and Exmoor full stop. I mean, yeah. it really is an incredible place with some really great things to see definitely and the two combined super force yeah so please if you have enjoyed the video don't forget leave us a little comment down below hit the bell subscribe uh, and give us a thumbs up thumbs yeah up. give us a little like thank you very much we appreciate all your support all the comments it's been fantastic so hopefully lots more videos to come from us so we'll see you soon yep. so until our next adventure Stay safe and well, look after each other. And keep enjoying those green spaces. Bye guys. Bye.